Disabilities, Issues, and Updates on BCTV is supported by the Berks County Center for Independent Living, Abilities, and Motion. for joining us today here on Disabilities Issues and Updates, where we talk about the latest current events going around in our local disability community. My name is Brianna McGovern. I'm the Disability Resource Manager for Abilities in Motion, and I will be your host for today. Joining us here today is our Fiscal Management Services Program Director, Nicole Painter, who's going to talk to us a little bit about Abilities in Motion's Fiscal Management Programs. Thank you for joining us here today. Thank you for having me. So to start off, Nicole, can you just give us an idea of what your role is here at AIM? Sure. Um, as you mentioned, I'm the Fiscal Management Services Program Director. So I oversee a host of programs in our department um, that help individuals with disabilities um, navigating things and um, being able to take control of the services in their own way. Awesome. Um, can you tell me how you got started here at AIM? Sure. I actually started with AIM in 2017 in our nursing home transition program. Um, so I, I was with that program for about two years. I rose up to be a field supervisor, a um, manager, and then the opportunity presented itself for this program to be to start out as a um, senior manager, um, overseeing different roles of the FMS program. And then I was able to become the director and take over the multiple different aspects. Instead of several different directors, I was able to merge the services together. Awesome. So a lot of people are aware of AIM's Center for Independent Living um, programs, but a lot of people don't know about the fiscal management services that we offer. Can you just give us kind of like a rundown of each program that you offer? Sure. Um, there are four main programs. The largest one we have is called Agency with Choice. With that program, um, it is centered for individuals with intellectual or developmental disabilities. Um, they're qualified for what's called the waiver program, and we are able to help them with identifying individuals that they would like to become their support service professionals. They're able to set the rate of pay for their, their workers, um, set the schedules, train them, everything like that instead of a traditional agency. So it's very unique in that they get to take control of those services and run it how they wish. Um, we also have the options program. That program is for individuals that are aged 60 or above. And um, for those individuals, they have a physical disability where they need a little bit of support throughout the day. Um, and they're also able to hire their own caregivers <laughs> um, and set the hours, the times that their caregivers are going to work um, and train them. So that's very similar to Agency with Choice. Um, the third program is called Your Choice Respite Program, and that one is for children. So it's anybody, it's youth, anyone under the age of 21 in Berks County that has a mental health um, diagnosis, oh. and it allows their caregivers the opportunity to have a break um, and just have some time away so they can have overnight um, respite, which allows the the caregiver to get a larger period of, of a break, or they can have hourly respite. Awesome. And do you guys service primarily Berks County, or do you service outside of the county? Um, a little bit of both. Okay. <laughs> um, with Agency with Choice, our two main counties right now are Berks and Schuylkill, but we are willing to expand as well. And with the Options Program, we're actually in Berks, Schuylkill, and Lancaster County. So that one is through the Office of Aging. So they would have a case manager through the Office of Aging that would make the referral to us. And for that Your Choice Respite program, that is specifically for Berks County. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, you've touched on this a little bit, and I think a lot of the common questions that we receive or referral questions we get is, you know, do we offer what people call attendant care services or at-home care services? And I feel like things like agency with choice and options t tends to kind of get um, compared or is mixed up with actual attendant care differences or at-home care services. Can you explain a little bit about like what the difference is between 
an actual at-home care nurse and somebody with Agency with Choice? Absolutely. Um, so the Agency with Choice services, it's specifically, we call them support service professionals. So although it's somebody that is there and can help them throughout the day, it's primarily them working on a goal to become independent, to um, learn skills or maintain skills at independence. So things like learning to balance a checkbook or um, even preparing a shopping list before you go out in the community or working on socialization skills. So it's not necessarily the same as home care mm -hmm. where it's, it's um, physically helping to take care of someone um, or assist them, but it's more of helping them become more independent in social skills even. I think the benefit with Agency with Choice after I used to work for a company called Envision Human Services, which is almost like a group home setting for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities with direct support to professionals, but they're hired outside the company. And I think the benefit that we have with Agency with Choice is the fact that they have the ability to choose somebody that they're comfortable with. And for a lot of people, that, that does matter a lot. Um, when you have somebody hired outside the family or someone that you're not comfortable with, they don't they just have to you know, get the chance to take to know you. And I feel like the level of care may not always be there as much as a family member or a loved one um, that would be willing to take care of them. So I think it's a great option for those who yes. don't want to kind of go outside the family. Absolutely. And that is the biggest part that I love about Agency with Choice is that the individuals are able to come to us with the worker identified in mind already. Um, or we can help them with identifying workers as well, but they establish that one-on-one -on -one you know, support and rapport with that individual. And if that individual is sick, they can call somebody else that they have on staff um, that could come and help them that day instead of a traditional agency where they'll just send any worker that they have qualified out to the home. So they really establish a better um, support connection with this. And that's really what's most important. You want the person to feel more independent, more comfortable, mm -hmm. and I feel like that level of comfort is what really helps people to kind of branch out a little bit more. Uh, can you explain how they, people can get, so you touched on this a little bit, how people can get involved with our services because there, there is a process um, in order to qualify and I think it's a little complicated but if you could just touch on it just a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Um, for Agency with Choice, in that program they actually have to already be approved for a wa waiver program through the Office of Developmental Programs um, and that would be set up by the county um, the county office. Um, so one of the primary counties that we hear from um, would be county offices would be like Sam Inc. They can help somebody identify if they can get on the waiver program um, and then help them pick a support coordination agency. And that agency would actually help them write their plan for the waiver, how many hours of services they get, what services they get, and our referral would come directly from the support coordination agency. Um, whereas the options program, that one I had mentioned, comes directly from the county that they live, the Office of Aging or Senior Services. So they would qualify for a case manager who would identify their needs, um, identify the hours that they need as well, and send that referral over to us. Okay. And also for the Your Choice Respite program, um, that one would come directly from Sam Inc. here in Berks County. Um, from a blended case manager who would be able to send that over to us. Okay, uh, so we, when we get calls and oftentimes we get consumers asking for, especially for those who are in the senior ages, services that can help with things like attendant care services or things that their insurance may not necessarily entirely cover. Um, and that's where we point people over to waiver services. Can you touch a little bit on what waiver services are, or at least what their purposes are and how they can benefit um, the disability community? Absolutely. Um, waiver services actually run through the state Medicaid system. Um, so it would need to be somebody that can qualify for the medical assistance. And the waiver service, it allows individuals to have um, a wave of coverage. <laughs> um, some of the roles for insurance are waived and the state is able to cover the cost of those services. Um, so yeah. <laughs> and they do have to try and go through those channels first before they come to us? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's 
good information to know. And of course, if anybody has any questions about our fiscal management services programs, please feel free to reach out to uh, Abilities in Motion at 610-376-0010. Nicole, I want to thank you for being here today. And I want to thank you all for joining us this month. And I hope everybody out there has a safe and a wonderful holiday this year. And we'll see you next month. Disabilities, Issues, and Updates on BCTV is supported by the Berks County Center for Independent Living, Abilities in Motion. <laughs>